Hey guys, we want to show you a really neat feature of Yomingo called Tags. If you haven't utilized the Tags feature yet, we want to share it with you because it's a really helpful feature and you can use it in different ways. So today we wanted to show you how you can create tags and then also how you can apply them to your learners, either manually or through registrations. So let's get to it. So the first step is creating your tags. So I'm going to go to the admin dashboard and click on manage tags. In here, you'll see that we already have several previously created tags that we had already added in before. So now we're going to add a few more. So let's say that you want to keep track of location information about your learners. So I'm going to click on add and add a few more. Fort Worth and Dallas were already in there. So I'm going to add in Arlington and click save. I'm going to add Denton and click save. So you can add as many as you'd like. I'm also going to add in a few providers. We've already got Dr. Evans and Dr. Joy in there. So I'm going to add in Dr. Johnson and click save. So now we've got all our different created tags in here. So this is the first step you'll do. So the next step is applying these tags to your learners. And you can do that manually or through registrations. First, let's look at manually. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard of my admin site and click on manage learners. Then I'm going to pull up the learner that I would like to add tags to and right under the line tags, you can start adding in tags. So I'm going to add in Dallas. I'm going to add in Dr. Johnson. You can also remove tags say, Oh, I don't want Dallas. I actually want Fort Worth for her. So then there are the tags listed there that are assigned to this learner. And once I click save, these tags are then saved to this learner's profile. And also this information filters to the metrics and I will show you that in just a moment. Another way that you can assign tag to learners is through registration. So from my admin dashboard, I'm going to click on manage registrations. And just as a reminder, registrations are those unique links that you can create to register your learners through so that you don't have to go in there and add them in manually. So let's look at one as an example. So this one right here, when I look at this registration, um, again, it'll have your logo and whatever you name it up here at the top and it's going to collect their name, their email address. If you ask questions in your registration form, it's gonna collect that information as well. And when that learner clicks submit, it's going to automatically register them for that information. They'll receive that initial email to get them signed up. So that's just a little overview on registrations. But what's really neat is you can attach tags to these as well. So let's do one together. So I'm gonna create a new one called testing tags. And there's a couple options here under tags. Let's say I want to create a registration that is um, assigned to and associated with the Dallas location. So if I use this portion up here, now, anytime somebody registers through this registration link, they are going to have the Dallas tag assigned to them, their learner profile, which is really neat. Let me put in a test email message here. So that's the first option, adding a tag that applies to all of the learners who register through this registration link. Another option is you can assign tags to different questions. So let's say that I want to collect information about who is your provider. And then I want to assign tags to those learners based on how they answer this question. So let's say I want to know about Dr. Johnson. As long as you use the drop down or a radio button option for these questions, you can do this feature. So Dr. Johnson, and then I'm going to select the Dr. Johnson tag and I'm going to click add. Then also I want to know about Dr. Evans. I'm going to select her tag and then say add. Anytime you want to edit them, you can use the little edit button over here. If you need to delete one of these, you can click the delete option over here. So you can always go back in and edit. I'm just going to finish out this registration form real quick. Assign their content down here and click save. Now here's my link. I can copy that link. I can go over here and open it up. 
or I can go back in to that registration link and always go back and grab that link again. And here you'll also see our tags that we added up here at the top that will be assigned to all of them, and then also our question that we'll assign based on how they answer that question. So really neat feature of tags. And then lastly, I wanna show you how you can filter down your learner list in your metrics using tags. So from the admin dashboard, I'm gonna click on metrics. Now, when I first visit my metrics, it is going to populate all of my learners. But say that I wanna filter down by those tags that I've created. Look under learner tags. Here is where you can select from your different tags that you have previously created. You can see all of them there. So let's say that I want to know anybody who has um, Dr. Johnson attached to their learner profile. So I added in Dr. Johnson, that's the tag that I selected there, and I'm gonna click on search. And here you can see that the learner that has Dr. Johnson tag attached to her is listed here. I can click on export and it'll export into an Excel spreadsheet for me, which includes their name, their email, registration date, last activity, article activity percentage, and also their tags. So this is a great way of how you can filter your learners by tags. So that is a quick little overview of the tags feature of Yomingo. So I hope this video was helpful for you. This is a great feature of Yomingo and we really hope that you will enjoy using it.